This is Frijoles Canyon. 35 miles west of Santa Fe is the crow flies. Gustav Bauman came here for the first time in October of 1918, within a week of his arrival in Santa Fe. He came because it was a place of both natural beauty and historical interest. It was a place of refuge a thousand years ago for the ancestral Puebloan people. They dug dwellings into the soft tuff or volcanic rock of the cliffs, and then the floor of the canyon they used for agricultural purposes. For Gustav Bauman, Frijoles Canyon was inspirational not only from an artistic point of view, but also from a Native American cultural point of view. It is such a mystical place that he could easily imagine the spirits of the ancient people still inhabiting the floor of Frijoles Canyon and the cliff dwellings above them. Frijoles Canyon sort of served as the historical precedent for the architecture of New Mexico, with these sort of natural forms being used as dwellings, which sort of evolved into the adobe, not only pueblos of the Native American people, but the adobe architecture that is so pervasive throughout New Mexico. Bauman spoke of these as having sort of a biblical feel, and he found this very pleasing, and throughout his artistic career, you can see him concentrating on sort of the native architecture as being part and parcel of the landscape. There's a natural draw that lured progressively greater series of artists from the east to the southwest. It was different archaeologically, geologically, culturally, and artistically from anything that they had ever encountered before. Many of these artists decided to spend their entire year here. And by 1918, there were almost as many artists in Taos as there were permanent residents. 